This this the million dollar debate that we never recorded. <laughs> the best penitentiary fighter versus the best boxer. The best boxer, hands down. Why you say not that? even not even why you say that we not even though I'm not even I don't got a second guess that I ain't got why it. you it's, say that though because I'm saying all right we both been in jail the best nigga that's fighting that hoe I know they work out and shit how many fights that nigga probably having in a year if he fight a lot or just in jail if he fight a lot if you fight the light. A lot, like a lot, like you'll probably have a fight every month. So that's twelve fights. I was gonna say like nine to ten. Yeah, for sure. All right. A boxer doing that shit, just regular sparring, like full contact. That shit, he doing that shit in a couple of weeks. Then who training you in this motherfucker? Yourself. I think it ain't that I necessarily feel like the penitentiary fighter the best fighter. I think most people, my friend, when they be talking about that, is like. You going through more in jail, you know what I'm saying? So yo, like, you angry, you know what I'm saying? So what you fighting for is a whole different thing as opposed to somebody doing it out here for sport. It's more like, you know, motherfucker ain't never coming home type shit. Some people never coming home. So, so you you saying that make you fight harder? It'll make you fight harder. I don't think that necessarily make you better than a professional fighter, but I'm saying it's the aggression. You get what I'm saying? It's like you going through something. Yeah, that's what get your ass whooped by a box. <laughs> Aggressive. Why are you feel like this? Just, I've been on both sides. I've done both. If, if that's the case, it'll be way more. It's a lot of niggas that go to jail and think they the truth and come home and try to. I've seen it. If that's the case, it'll be. Do you feel like that's a dumb man? Right, you, you know, you feel like it's a valid argument. Now, just answer this question. How many niggas really came home, mm. turned into boxing, and became a champ? You can't name me five. No, that's it. <laughs> that's it for real. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. On this unit, you in a unit. It ain't like you traveling, fighting other niggas from other units like this, or they having a a real boxing tournament where you, nigga, who say these other niggas you fighting good? I don't see that shit. I don't think no motherfucking hell. Man. What you think? I feel like the best boxer, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you really been in that shit from a kid, like Mayweather. You know? Like if you really been in the gym since you three years old. So you know, so I'm saying this nigga the best in the world. I ain't gonna lie, I have seen some cold people in jail, but how I look at it, my argument be always this, the people that be saying the penitentiary people, it's based on who are you fighting. Yeah. Because it's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to, to shine on people who ain't got nothing. It's like but the weakest know. person in South Park go to Katie and be the hardest person out there. I've seen that. You know what not, I'm saying? Not Katie, but I've seen like a dude that was used to be around us that was lame. Not I ain't gonna say lame, but just couldn't fuck with us and type shit. Or you know, he wasn't just tough on that side. Really went to I ain't gonna say the hood went to somewhere else and became the man. Then I've been locked up, homie, the, 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 the toughest niggas on the unit ain't really fighting each other. Them niggas really respect and stand yeah, out each other way. And, and I noticed that too. Most of the people that really had something cool with each other. I, killers respect killers. Yeah. So it's just like, so, yeah, same thing. But like, in boxing, that, that shit, if you the best, you the best, you always fight. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how you base the ranking in jail? You know what I'm saying? Man, you seen what he did to such and such? I'm saying that. I mean, and, and I feel like, you know, a lot of times when, when people say somebody got something, it's based off what you heard. It ain't really what you seen. Either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're like, you got a bunch of people that really run around. Hey, bro, really? You got something. It's like, how, really like that. <laughs> and it's like, how, how many times you seen a fight? Yeah. None. That's what I'm saying. You so, just heard about it. That's what I'm saying. So, how, that's how, that's how, if, that's how y'all basing y'all rank. Don't get me wrong, some niggas in jail that fight harder than the motherfucker, but. Man, that boxing shit so technical. And I used to be looking at how niggas train. Yeah, it ain't. How niggas be training in jail. I'll be looking at that shit. I'd be like, yeah, he, he was bad. Motherfucker, what happened? She took on the hand and shit. That, that, that shadow box in that area ain't gonna hit you back. Yeah, <laughs> niggas be looking good to the motherfucker. Ha, 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 ha. Well, if you don't sit your motherfucking ass down, sit the fuck down. You be seeing no penitentiary 
you be seeing them niggas get out of prison to be trainers on Instagram yeah. and shit. <laughs> Everything wrong. Feet work, stepping off wrong. Niggas don't know the, the basic shit. Yeah, just hurt people just by their not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just doing it to, you know, stay in shape or some shit, but don't try to make a profession out of this shit. So I've been through that shit, like with like one of the toughest niggas in my neighborhood, like one of the toughest niggas on South Bank. Like I got in that box and shit, nigga, like I was getting my ass real. Then it was so crazy, I was going to like certain gyms, niggas wasn't taking it easy. Like, bitch, I just started last week. Yeah, he called him. Boom, 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 beat the shit out of you. God, but that shit made the nigga learn though. And it was so different, bro. That over aggressive shit, bro. You gotta have patience, timing. But dang, you know, them niggas aggressive, man. Every time I bro, I used to watch them niggas fight, I see a, in jail, I see a couple of dips and shit like that. But niggas really just throwing them hoes. Yeah, so look. So a conclusion. Nah, ain't no conclusion. We running this shit. So look. <laughs> so what you what you think about? Like. I'm gonna say um errors. We're gonna talk about errors and, and people like we're gonna talk about both both sides. We're gonna start at the eighties. The eighties babies, the nineties babies, the two thousand babies. Like civilians, not professional fighters. Nah, I ain't on fight no more. Oh, right, right, right. Just uh my bad for switching subject yeah, I gotta right, get right, on right. But uh yeah. Just like people in general, like the thinking wise, the toughness. The female, we're gonna you know what I'm saying from the male, from the men, and from the females. I like I, I really think like the eighties, eighty babies, early nineties, mm-hmm. or like probably like some of the no disrespect to nobody, but they're just my some of the smartest and toughest people. Right. I can agree. Now you got tough people in every no, for sure, but the, no, the no, majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I can agree with that. Cause I feel like a lot of people in that era had to learn how to survive because parents was on drugs and it was before the internet era because the internet destroyed humanity basically yeah because like you got to think back in the day motherfuckers like you don't remember map quest yeah we got to go out of town or something yeah. print out the direct yeah motherfuckers had maps and shit yeah nowadays see bitch we're supposed to turn the left on bro six is too now <laughs> it's like motherfuckers don't know even know how to go to the grocery store without the GPS, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like if the internet went down for I'll be alright. You know right. what I mean? I'll but be if all right. somebody that's of this generation, gonna be lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I be mean, feeling like we not from this generation, we just existed in it. Yeah. We went through it. So we we really caught the the end of we really caught like both sides. Right. I know how to do all this internet shit, you know what I'm saying? Like how to work shit and you know what I'm saying shit like that is way easier but then again like if it was to go back to how it was when I was a kid I'd be all right and I'd be able to survive. Oh, the internet the world. I'm saying like if, if Instagram every social media the internet was to go completely off the grid I'm saying I'm gonna just I got a basketball I'm just I'm gonna get on the punching bag we gonna hoop spar get on the mitts or Do something. feel like we can ever come back from like what the internet did to society, you think we can ever shake back? You say, oh, the key, the, like the motherfucker, no. There's no way. There's no way. Today, you can really be whatever you want to be. Like if you got, if you just, if you got ten thousand followers, how many followers you got? Like twenty. Uh, All right, just say twenty. We don't. We don't. Eighteen. C. All right, you got eighteen thousand followers. For a fact, you can wake up. And talk to more than 1,500 people. Like, what you get on your views? Like, the, the thousands. thousands of views. So you can wake up and talk to thousands of people. Out of the thousands of people, I ain't gonna, I don't think everybody's smart. You can really be who you want to be with some people. I hear it all the time. Motherfucking watch a nigga on a video. Don't know this nigga, this nigga from a whole other state. You ain't never met bro in your life. Ain't never been around him. And the motherfucker like, nah, bro ain't never with the you know what I'm saying, bro? Then with shit, but you have no clue. You don't know. You just go. So I'm saying, yeah, you want to say. So you can be whatever you want to be today. But see, like our era, whatever was attached to your name, that's what you was doing. Hey, bro, bro, fight hard. You gonna pop this too? Cause bro was 
eight times out of ten, bro, we doing that. Too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not going offensively. Yeah, we, we, we couldn't because it wasn't now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what bro was doing. Today, you can just wake up and post the gun and, like, give it a live caption that out of your 18,000 followers, if not half, more than half going to believe you. Do you feel like the internet is the reason that more people get killed now? It added to it, but me and my little brother, we had recently kind of looked that shit up, though. Like the numbers, and it's like it's 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 damn near the same. Like back in the game, I just think it wasn't. Oh, uh, I just think it wasn't like it wasn't broadcast. Like right now, see, like back in the game, we wouldn't have knew. Like we all right, me in South Park. If a nigga just got shot in his ass or some shit and beat up on the north side, it don't make the news. We probably wouldn't have knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Now we see it. But today, but I mean today, but today, uh, if a nigga get something happen to it, the T Pain post, you gonna all you gotta do is get on Instagram. You gonna know all the news that's going on in Houston. Back in this game, we ain't had it. You just, you know so what I'm saying? It's the same stuff being going on. Yeah, the same. It was a broadcast. Yeah, it's more, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more broadcast. So you get the news faster. Yeah. See, the internet made a lot of motherfuckers that's not tough, tough. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like like I just said, like you can really be who you want to be. I see it so much, bro. I seen, I ain't gonna say no, I ain't saying no name, but nigga, this wasn't, I ain't gonna get a time frame. This was a minute ago, but I ain't gonna say when. I seen a nigga like talking, he damn near sold it to me, and I really don't buy shit. I don't want a nigga, you gotta make believe it there, but man, this nigga was talking so good. And I was like, why he on the internet doing that shit though? But the way he's selling it, I'm like, he probably do just crash out that nigga. Then when he ran, when they ran, the other niggas recorded him. Bro was running. Fight so weak, he swing with his head down. He got his ass toe off the phone. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that ain't the same nigga. That was behind that keyboard, behind that iPhone. I, I, I'm one of the niggas that hate the internet. Like, I hate it because. It put you like I feel like if you a real person, a real individual, I don't even like saying a real nigga, but if you a real nigga, it's gonna put you in a position that's gonna crash you. Cause if you really not playing and somebody playing with you in real life, like on the internet, you damn near gonna be in a position where you gotta crash if you if you for real. Like if you really real, the internet gonna be your downfall. Like if you really kill somebody in real life and you yeah. really bitch at when I see you, I'm gonna blow your motherfucking head off and then you do that shit for real and go to jail for the rest of your life. It's like you you wasn't faking though. Yeah. So it's like the internet not designed for you to win if you really real. It's not. One thing I learned though, damn near, I kind of learned how to control my emotions. A lot of niggas don't know how to do that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause pride. Niggas just like, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas just niggas just handle their aggression like physical anyway. That's why niggas don't know how to argue really. Like when you see a nigga know how to argue and like to argue and he know how to argue when he angry. That nigga got like that's a one that's a woman trait to me. Right. I don't know how to do that shit. But now you you hit it right on the head as far as like learning how to control your emotions. Yeah. That's when you master yourself. That's powerful. It was yeah. I remember R.I.P. to my nigga Duke from Beaumont. R.I.P. to Duke from Beaumont. Rolling sixty OG with it. In the penitentiary, my nigga Duke he did like a, a dime. You know what I'm saying? Duke crib dude from Beaumont. He really had something on fight. I remember he getting to one of my blood homies named Bubba from Dallas. I be telling your mom. Bubba whoop! The nigga showed me. I ain't not on that. I thought that was right. Nigga. No, my nigga Bubba. Shout out to my nigga Bubba from West Dallas. Anyway. Shout Bubba, out Bubba. Bubba, he can fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude can fight, Bubba can fight. Yeah. They had a fight. Bubba, they get out there. Bubba is just all over the place. Slap the man on top of the back of his head and everything. Yeah. But guess what? Dude never lost his composure. Bubba just was the better fighter. Yeah. But Duke never lost his composure. Like, yeah. he never got mad. Yeah. After they fought, he dapped them up. He, good shit. And yeah. it just went on to See, it. I, I, but not to cut you off real quick. Just real quick. My bad. I you off. But I'm like, damn, Duke. Like, I've never seen nobody just lose a fight for real for real and not be mad. He's like, I'm a master of my composure. Like, it's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a man. I'm still a man. Like, yeah. still got to live my life. Still got to do my time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and then sometimes it's all right to lose to certain people to me, though. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? It's all right to lose. Like Canelo, one of the best boxers of all time, but he lost to Floyd. Like to me, that's all right. It's honorable. Yeah, like damn, I ain't lose to uh, such and such. I lost to Floyd, Money, Mayweather. 